Hello, hi. Uh, my name is Akmal Zaki and I'm from MSI Malaysia. Okay, today, today I will I will show you step by step a guide how to do extreme overclocking on Ivy Bridge i7 3770K. Hello, hardware zoners. My name is Chong Jun Wei. And together with Akmal, we will be showing you the steps needed to extreme overclock your computer. There are a few items that viewers will need to prepare prior to overclocking. A processor, motherboard, graphics card, RAM, a storage device, and a power supply unit of at least 700 watts. You will also need liquid nitrogen, a pot and a thermos flask for the liquid nitrogen, industrial grade paper towels to absorb moisture, insulation foam to prevent condensation, art erasers to prevent water from touching components, a hairdryer to heat up the pot during a cold bug, and a thermometer to keep track of your CPU's temperature. The first thing you will need to do is insulate your motherboard. Insulation is important because condensation happens easily once liquid nitrogen is used. If water droplets reach your motherboard, there's a potential of short-circuiting. To insulate your board, apply an eye eraser on both the front and back of the CPU socket area. Also remember to leave space for the mounting. Before attaching the mounting for the pot, we will need to insulate the board a second time using industrial grade paper cloth and insulation foam. Cut the cloth and foam to shape, making holes for the mounting and processor. One layer of each goes between the motherboard and the pot's mounting. Repeat the same process for the top as well. You will then need to connect the pot's base to the thermometer. Do this by applying a small bit of thermal paste to the side. Then attach the thermometer sensor on the area. Following that, secure the sensor with tape. After applying some thermal paste on the processor, place the base on top of it and secure the pot. A final layer of insulation is wrapped around the pot to prevent condensation. Now it's time to start up the computer. Always keep an eye on the temperature displayed in the BIOS and thermometer. The BIOS displays the temperature of the processor, while the thermometer tracks the temperature of the pot. Now, pour in the liquid nitrogen. This will allow the temperature to reach well below freezing level. Try to get the CPU's temperature down to at least negative 100 degrees Celsius. Then enter the BIOS and turn off all power saving features on the board, as well as disable any performance enhancing settings, such as turbo boost and hyper trading. If you are able to enter Windows, then you will be able to run an overclocking software within the operating system itself. Here, we use MSI's control center software to overclock our system. This is where the real challenge begins. Slowly adjust the clock speed of the processor until its limit has been reached. Occasionally, you will encounter issues where your motherboard will hang and not boot up. This is called the cold bug. Once you have encountered a cold bug, please take note of the temperature. To restart your computer, use a hairdryer or a blowtorch to warm the pot. To avoid cold bugs, closely monitor the temperature to ensure that it does not reach the particular temperature that you have noted down. By adding more liquid nitrogen, and heating it up when necessary. Okay, after a few attempts of overclocking, after a few reboots and hard time, I managed to get 6.5 GHz on my CPU. It's the i7-3770K Intel Ivy Bridge. So uh, that's all for my show and thanks for watching. Thank you.